Hi, I'm Jason Webster, Beck Cybridge, Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. Today we are in Michigan Town, Indiana with David Redding. We're here following David's personal journey to 300 bushel corn. Now David, this is the third time we've been out here at the 300 bushel challenge. You've got things harvested. How did we end up? Were we able to reach that 300 bushel yield level? Uh, I was just a little bit short, 258. 258 bushel per acre. That's still some pretty good yields. How did that compare to your normal program? What kind of yield difference were you seeing? Um, on our nor normal program, um, we saw only 158 bushel. 158 bushel was your average yield in that scenario. Yeah, it was 100, 100 bushel less with 120 pounds less nitrogen. I mean, that's tremendous. I mean, we're picking up an extra 100 bushel to the acre corn yields by implementing some of the programs that you're using. So let, let's talk about that. You mentioned nitrogen. That seems to be a common theme this year. Are you thinking you saw some of your best yield responses from additional nitrogen? Yeah, this year we lost a lot of nitrogen because of all the rain. Okay. So you came in with extra nitrogen over and above your normal program. Talk to us a little bit about, about that. How much more nitrogen? We went with 40, pound, uh, 40 gallons more 28 than what we usually do. Okay, so 40, 40 gallon times three if you're using 28%, so about an extra 120 pounds. Yes. And that was giving you a yield response of over 100 bushel. Correct. Incredible. What else do you think worked other than nitrogen? Uh, I think a little bit of fall tillage last year kind of helped mm -hmm. boost the yield just a hair. Okay. Not as much as I thought it would, but okay. the ground was just awful tight this spring. Okay. So as we gear up for the 2016 growing season and, and you enter the 300 bushel challenge again, what might you do differently or might, might, what might you add to your operation to try to reach that 300 bushel level next year? Uh, we've been looking at maybe uh, having some hog manure put on hmm. and maybe some like gypsum or something like that. Well, it looks like we fell short of our 300 bushel goal here in Michigan Town, Indiana, but we still had tremendous success, seeing over 100 bushel yield responses by some of the programs that David put in place. So David, congratulations on the high yields here on this farm. Thanks for working with us on Beck's 300 bushel challenge. This has been Jason Webster, Beck Cybers, Practical Farm Research, Innovation Lead, following David Redding's personal journey to 300 bushel points.